What's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Young Dub coming at y'all with another video here. Uh, just gonna do a quick little update for the channel, man. Um, I was gonna make this a quick video, but it is what it is. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and do like normal. Keep it all the way 100 with y'all, man. It's Saturday night, and I got a couple text messages, so I wasn't planning on doing anything, but uh, you know how it goes, man. You get that um, good text message from the right, from the right people, and you figure, you know what, let me go ahead and get my ass out here, and that's exactly what the hell I'm going to do. Uh, so, I'm going to go a little extensive on this video. Uh, Y'all know I've said in the previous couple videos that I've had this stuff sitting around for a while. This is another one of those products that have been sitting around for a while. Uh, so, the reason why I decided to go ahead and do this video is because I feel that is necessary. So, what's going on here? I guess, well, you can see that we like it loud over here, this DS18 stuff. Uh, those are the super tweeters. Um, the Pro TW320.8. Um, a lot of the stuff that I'm running this year is going to be DS8. Well, it is DS18. Uh, so what's going on behind this product, those boxes back there are the product boxes to the DS18, uh, EXL, uh, six and a half and speakers. They're eight ohms due to the fact that I got this sundown SFB. Uh, what is this? The 500.4. Um, I'll put that down there. Hopefully y'all can see that down there. So what's going on is I got this sundown SFB 500.4. Had it in the car for quite some time, man. Uh, that was one of the deals where I kind of like did the unboxing video on it. it. Took me a little while, but I finally got it in there. So the deal, well, the initial statement, well, statement, the initial plan, and in which I did stick to initially, uh, was to run those PRV uh, 6MB 550 FT speakers. Uh, they are mid bass, and I just, like I said, I couldn't get the sound out of them that I wanted. Uh, so if y'all been around here for a while, y'all know I switched back to DS18 uh, and the EXL speakers to get the sound that I wanted. So we are, we achieved that. So for the longest that I've had that SFB amp in the car, um, we've been doing the four speakers. So like I said, I got four DS18 EXL speakers. They're the... Um, 6.5 inch, but eight ohm speakers. So the thing, and that's the reason why I got that SFB uh, 500.4 is because it's able to play down or bridge uh, down, so quote unquote, safely down to two ohms. Uh, so initially that was, it was, everything was grand. It was great. As of, Jesus, I don't, this week, we'll just say this previous week. I can't remember what day it was. But one of the day, one of these days this past week, I you know I got the DS18 EXL 10 inch speakers. Only have two of those. They're at four ohms due to the fact that you know you could bring four ohms down to two. Uh, so we got that. Uh, we got the 10 inch speakers in there. I got the plan. Uh, met up with some buddies one night where I had some free time. I was like, hey, screw it. You know what's going on? Uh, we hooked up and we were outside chilling. And um, another one of my buddies, he he's never had music in his car and. Uh, he got some money, so he paid somebody because obviously I didn't have to have the time to do it. And I'm, the, the setup that he got is amazing, too. So he paid somebody to fiberglass his doors, and he has a setup in his truck now. He has a Hummer. We were kind of trading demos, and lo and behold, in the middle of one of my demos, my doggone imp cut out. So I'm just standing there looking like a jackass because <laughs> I'm in Omaha. I'm kind of like the guy known for the music. So I'm standing around looking around like, okay, what in the hell's going on? Whatever. Maybe they went to protect and that's exactly what happened because it was getting hot. So same thing now, like I said, it's Saturday night. Uh, I was riding around earlier. I'm like, you know, like I, I told you on the previous video, we had a basically a hurricane come through here last week. Uh, so I finally got the yard done and all that type of stuff. So showered up, said, you know what? I'm just sitting around here. Let me go for a ride and just, you know, see how uh, everything sounded and we'll go from there. Same type of deal, man. I go to the gas station, fill the tank up, take a drive. Probably about 20 minutes in, yoink, music cuts out again. So now I'm sitting there pissed off, like, man, what the hell? Okay, let me go back to the house and just see what's up. And thank God I did that because I'm sitting there like, okay, let me leave everything going, pop trunk and let's just see what's going on. 
I get to the back. The amp is making uh, the whole breakfast griddle. Eggs, you want to fry some eggs, you can put that on there. I don't, whatever the temperature you need to get infections going, I probably could have put some COVID on the amp and then she would have burned that off. Uh, so she's boiling hot. So I'm like, okay, man, I don't think the fans of my amp is working. And I came in here and watched the video of Derek over at uh, Sundown Unofficial do the um, amp dyno. Of course, he shows us the guts, thank God. Cause yeah, there's no amp. I mean, there's no fans in the damn amp. So I went on that whole five minute rent <laughs> just to get to this box here. Like I said, this thing has been sitting around for a while, but as I said in that rent, it's Saturday night and I'll be damned if I go out tonight and this amp cuts out because back over there, y'all can't see it back over in that corner. I have the JP 234. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm not about to be riding around with amp cut out, man. I'll just put the 234 in there and try to see um, what kind of power it has. Now, the thing about the JP 234, uh, when you bridge it, you can only play it down to uh, a four ohms bridge. Uh, it's not a one ohm stable amp. And which uh, the thing about that, it sucks. It has, uh, it makes just the same amount of power as the um, SFB 500.4. Like when you bridge it, um, she gets like, I think it was six something, 650 something. Uh, so the power is there, but um, the wiring capabilities I would have to change and I'm not doing all that. It's Saturday night. So let me get to the easy solution, which y'all can see here. I'm gonna throw these in. So we got a couple of C4 fans, <laughs> say that fast. Let me get that out the way. All right, so what you see in front of you right here is some of the uh, C-Flow inline blower fans. These were the fans uh, that I was actually thinking about getting uh, some a while back uh, when EXO did the uh, the build videos to Lil Blue. He had these, I believe these were the exact fans he had. Um, the thing about it, uh, when I looked that up, I was like, okay, these things were uber expensive. And... I looked up at Wood Turbo 4000. Last year I had two of those. Was that last year? You know what? I think I had sold. I know two years ago for sure I had them in the Malibu. I can't remember if I had them last year in the truck or not. I think I sold them before I started putting the truck together. Uh, and y'all should know I ran that wolf from 7500 all day long, all day strong, and she never cut out. No problems at all. When I had my Twisted Sounds uh, 3.5K, I had the Atwood Turbo Fans on it because uh, I was running at 0.5, which obviously I ran the Wolfram at 0.5 as well. Uh, so I would, I don't know if that amp, if the Twisted Sounds would have cut out or not because I had the fans on the whole time. Wolfram, I know that thing didn't cut out because I never had fans on it and it, it performed just fine. So, uh, like I said, the research is everything, man. And I watch so many amp videos. So many dyno videos, just, I mean, amp, 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 new amp, dyno, whatever. Uh, so I end up watching so much of that stuff that I kind of get lost in the rotation. So like I said, I watched, I'm like, okay, let me see if I can put my JP234 in there. Might have to go a little bit less power, trying to change some options up as far as the wiring, but that amp doesn't have a fan in it either. So I'm like, okay, maybe my fan and my SFB isn't working. Like I said, I just mentioned, it doesn't have a fan. And she's getting hot. Like I said, when I had the two or the, the four fronts, two doors, four EXL speakers playing on just channels one and two, she worked perfectly fine. Never cut out. So I never checked it because I i didn't have a reason to. Every since I put um, channels three and four, got those going, she just ain't, she, she ain't liking it. So I don't know what the deal is with that, man. So I may or may not keep the amp that keep it may or may not keep the amp, but we'll figure out what's going to go on with that, man. Basically, so this is kind of my resolution. Um, I'm just going to put one of these in. Uh, so this one's kind of already open. Well, this one has a damaged box, so let's get this one open. So basically, what I'm going to do <laughs> basically give me an excuse to do the unboxing video on this. Should have did it a long time ago, but it is what it is. And these things are freaking huge. Lord have mercy. Look at this freaking fan. This thing is huge, man. Let's get her out the plastic. This, I believe this thing is bigger than my um, Atwood 
uh, four thousands. She is humongous. And unfortunately, well, <laughs> I was gonna say, unfortunately, I don't have a battery down here to test it and turn it on. And granted, I got that freaking um, uh, headway uh, beast module over there, man. But um, I'm just gonna throw this in the car. Maybe tomorrow I'll do an update uh, outside in the car in the trunk and just show y'all how I set everything up and we'll go from there. It's, it's real simple. It's basically like this table. So you got some MDF. The amp is uh, mounted up on um, uh, a couple of grommets and it's literally just hanging out back there solo. So I think we'll probably do that tomorrow and just do a video because I also got some stuff planned uh, as far as with those horns, try to get those in some wood and things like that, man. So maybe I got a couple of cameras. We'll take them outside and uh, uh, shoot some videos and get it all put together, man. But just a quick little deal. Uh, I guess I should show you all the paperwork. Sometimes I do the unboxing videos and I just grab the stuff out of it, get to the product, and I could care less about the, the rest of it. But then people come through like, man, what was on that paper? And I'm like, I had no idea. <laughs> well, instead of saying that, I don't know if that's going to come into focus. Probably not. But I'll hold that back there for y'all so y'all can get a look at it. But the reason why I kind of don't go with the paper stuff, um, paperwork and whatnot, is because nine times out of ten, if you're going to buy the product, uh, hopefully they have the manual online to where you can like download it or whatever, and you can look at it from that that route. Um, but just so I can say I cover my bases, you get a four-year uh, limited service warranty uh, deal here. Oh, nothing on the back of that. So boom. So y'all see the paper. Try to get my thumbs off the way. But I don't remember how much these cost because like I said, man, unfortunately I'm, I just get this stuff and it sits around me until I get a reason to use it or get around to using it. Uh, but this one here is uh, installation operating instructions. Like I said, um, I'm not the guy, I'm not too great when it comes to holding up the paperwork because of stuff like this right here. Can't get the paperwork open. And also trying to read this stuff on a video, um, it gets kind of hard. Like I said, I mean, it's camera won't pick up on it too great. Maybe about right there. Wire instructions, whatnot, man, but yeah. So long story short, I got the fan. Looks like 2.5 amps, uh, fuse of five amps. It's probably recommended because I don't think it's, yeah, it's not on there. I don't care. Uh, like I said, man, we'll get this thing going in the car tonight. Uh, get this SFB hopefully planned the way it's supposed to without cutting out. And we'll go from there, man. So we'll see what the deal is. Like I said, man, when I had the other speakers on there, she played just fine. No problem, man. But now she's kind of like pissed off. Like, what are you doing to me? I'm like, I, I, I just want you to play. <laughs> so we'll see what's up with that, man. So another thing. I told myself that I wasn't going to do product videos and giveaway announcements in the same videos. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that in this video. So give me just a second. Let me get this stuff out the way. We'll get that SCAR SKA 7 EQ right here and announce that winner. Just a second. All right, folks. So now what you're seeing in front of you right here is the SCAR Audio SK7 EQ. I uh, got the fans out the way. Put this right here like we stated. Uh, so we'll go on this little rant as well. So y'all know the deal if you've been watching last night. I did post a video um, showing that uh, I had an inter Instagram interaction with Mr. Steve Mead about his products. Um, literally just, like I said, I was looking for y'all guys' opinion. Hey, was I out of line? Was I rude? Uh, should I have kept my comment to myself? Um, as far as the senses on this video, everybody's came back with like, hey man, I don't think you're out of line at all. I think you just uh, called him out on his products, uh, he didn't want to hear it. Anytime you put that mirror in somebody's face, hey man, the truth is a hard pill, a hard pill to swallow. I understand that, uh, but like I said, man, I could see if I was coming just from a peer, hearsay position, but I explained myself like, dude, I purchased the products. And granted, like I said, I'm just a small YouTube, uh, YouTuber, somebody that he probably don't remember. Uh, Cause as I stated, dude, you were the one who came to my video uh, some years back when I bought your SMD um, copper subwoofer box terminal. 
Like I said, I think it was 60, 65, 70. It was 65 something. Maybe it was nearly 70 bucks. I remember that. So I was like, I'm sorry, I don't see the um I don't see the reason for the cost with this. Just a thick piece of plastic with some crocker screws in it. And like I said, the only reason why I had bought that piece at that time uh, was because I couldn't find copper screws. Like I was literally running all over the city trying to find like fast and all. We got those store Titan tools. Uh, obviously, um, Home Depot and Lowe's went there. Copper screws, no luck. I was on. Uh, well, I'll say the theme. I mean, the theme of that bill was lime green and black. Uh, but also had where I was like, okay, man, we're doing we're doing copper everything. If it ain't copper, it's not getting in the car. Um, so I went ahead and took the plunge on buying that terminal. When I had made that video, like I stated in the previous video here, this gentleman came to my channel and basically I'm like, he said F you, but then he changed it to screw you. And I'm like, at the time, I'm kind of like, yo, man, what the, what the hell's your problem? Like, what's, you know, what's the deal? Basically because I laid out where I didn't see the, 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 the reason for the cost of that product being that high. Same thing with the SMD DD1 Plus. Same thing with the crossover calibration and pretty much anything else that he's got out there. The Amp Dyno, I know that thing is 3,500 bucks. That might be worth it. Uh, like I said, you look at Big D Wiz's channel, you look at... Let's see, Big D Wiz has it. Um, Face Kicker, I know he does it. I'm not, I don't watch his videos too much. I kind of get around to him when I do. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he's got a, he's got a good following. Uh, Ryan Blankenship, Budget Gym or Budget Bus. I don't know what's going on with Ryan. Uh, but I know, you know, he had the videos coming out when he got the dyno in. Pretty much if you get an amp dyno and you dyno stuff that people want to see, your channel is going to blow up. Uh, so he got to the point to where he made it and yada, yada, yada. Great for those people, man. Hopefully y'all keep going. Like I said, Big D Wiz is like one of my favorite YouTubers, man. So hopefully he can keep everything going, man. But uh, like I said, previous video, uh, like I said, laid out as far as the speaker terminal, silver for box terminal, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, DD1 Plus and the crossover calibration. And I have put these in it. These are the leads that I got from the DD1 Plus last year. And like I said, I literally moved the product and it was distorting the whole time. And that was because the line has snapped from the RCA here. Uh, so like I said, he does sell replacement leads, but why the hell do I need a replacement lead when I bought the product and also have to put a nine volt battery in there? So the requirements to get this Score Audio SK7EQ was to comment on that video and also hop over to my Instagram page. Um, let's see, we got one, two, three. I think I had like three or four people, man. But long story short, and I apologize to everybody, and that's why I, I probably, maybe the next video, like I said, I'll probably be working outside in the car, uh, but we'll go ahead and get that stuff going. I chose this gentleman here. I don't know if that's AH Soul 187, um, Jason Williams. I chose him uh, due to the fact that he hopped on there, and he also hopped on here. It was like, yo, you know, I didn't. he didn't have an Instagram. He literally just made it, and he put that one picture up there, man, so... For your efforts, sir, Jason Williams, you are the winner. Let's go to your page and wrap in her letter. So I don't know. Maybe that's his daughter or something. But yeah, so uh, Mr. Jason Williams uh, here on YouTube and also on Instagram, uh, you are the winner, sir. Uh, so basically, I'll be reaching out to you, uh, give you my email. You send me your address of where you want this thing shipped. Uh, so you, sir, are the winner of this here Scar Audio. SKA7 EQ, man. So like I said, I had bought this uh, a couple of weeks ago when I bought those SCAR speakers. I, I said I didn't know what I was going to do with it. Uh, but lo and behold, man, uh, that came out great. It, it ended up as a giveaway product, man. So Jason Williams, man, make sure you hit me up. Uh, send me your address. I'll get over to either UPS tomorrow or if I mess around and don't uh, ship it till Monday, I'll get over to USPS and uh, get this thing all wrapped up, taped up, and sent out to you, man. So... Um, Good luck, Jason Williams. Congratulations. You are the winner, man. So good luck with this product. Hopefully it serves you in your system. And uh, if you don't use it, do the same thing I did with it, man. Give it to somebody, man. So now with that being stated, y'all know we still have that. What the hell is this? July. I think today's the July 15th or the 16th. We still got all that stuff from the May the 4th uh, Bewitch You giveaway. 
Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get that going. Uh, send it out to people. Or well, post that maybe tomorrow. Like I said, maybe tomorrow I'll post that and then we'll do another deal uh, so we can get that out to some people as well, man. So if I got stuff laying around, uh, you guys can take it. I'll give. I'll use it as a giveaway product and get it out to you guys, man. So thanks, everybody, for the support. Um, and like I said, hopefully... One day this channel will blow up and it'll be, hey man, like that guy, the, it's just a car audio. I'm not looking to be that person, but if it, if it goes that way, then good deal. I'm definitely going to take it, but hashtag remain humble, man. I definitely want to make, no matter how big I get, I want to remain humble. And I say it in my previous video, sometimes I get like subwoofers and all this stuff that y'all see in the background. I kind of get it. I don't get excited about like I used to. Um... Some things I do, like uh, that JP8, when I, when I grabbed that, I was happy about that. The 234 as well, man. So, But we're going to remain humble. So same deal. It's your boy, Young Dub, 2021. If your mirrors ain't shaking, damn it, you got taken. I'm out of here, but it's still the same. Any questions, comments, concerns, y'all hit me up. I've tried to get back to everybody, man. Uh, like Once again, congratulations to Jason Williams. You are the winner. Uh, so we'll get this out to you, man. Y'all stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Uh, like I said, it could be an installation video, could be giveaway. We'll figure it out, man. But there will be a video, man. And definitely another winner, winner sooner or later, will be announced for that May the 4th uh, Be With You giveaway, man. Y'all enjoy your weekend. Like I said, it's Saturday night. Let me get that fan hooked up that I just um, did the intro on this video with and get my black ass on these streets. Peace. Stay positive. Peace and love, man. I'm out of here. Hey everybody, it's your boy Young Dub here, man. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Just know that your thumbs are appreciated. Make sure you hit the like button and the notification bell so you'll see the videos when they pop up. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel for the best unboxing videos in car audio, man. Thank you all for watching the video. I'll see you on the next one.